Friends, let us observe a totally unedited direct job FICO. You can see this is a cataract with grade 3 nuclear sclerosis. This is the main incision with a 2.8 millimeter steel keratome. The anterior chamber is filled up with 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. A side port is made on the left side of the main incision and now capsulorexis. This is a uterator forceps, very thin and this instrument is very good for capsulorexis. Hydro dissection is done. The nucleus is tapped and the nucleus is mobilized. Again, the anterior chamber is filled up with visco. And now let us observe the direct jaw. The fecal goes in with its bevel down. Some superficial lens matter is removed. The tip is buried in the substance of the nucleus and here goes the first job. Now we turn the nucleus 90 degree and have another job. Emulsified is by of nucleus and then the other part of the hemineucleus. Come to the other hemineucleus, chop it at the middle and start emulsifying this space and then the last quadrant and then comes the epinucleus after removing the epinucleus I turn the handpiece and with low vacuum in IO mode I start aspirating the cortex and in no time it is done please be careful don't try this if you try this it is at your own risk and now there are some cells sticking to the posterior capsule. You just use the irrigating proof to displace the cells from the posterior capsule. And now here goes the lens. The single piece monofocal intraocular lens is being placed in this case and it goes in the back the lens is dialed by the irrigating probe itself and then a little bit of moxifloxacin is injected into the anterior chamber the side port is hydrated a final lavage is done the anterior chamber is nicely formed and the case is concluded. So friends, we have to be safe and then we have to be swept. So don't try to be swept. Just be safe first and then swept. Thank you very much for your attention. Hope this video will help you in developing your surgical skills. Be a great surgeon and serve your patients with love, respect, compassion and great surgical competence.